that good, we're back position. Bottoms up. And then with these, I like to watch them. So I'm gonna watch the kettlebell. My forearm is going vertical all the way up. Get to the top. Sometimes it's nice to turn the kettlebell. You can feel different parts of your shoulder engage. Elbow straight back down into that good bottoms up rack. So that other position I was telling you about. You can press from here as well. So forearm is vertical, watching that kettlebell all the way up. Again, if you'd like to, you can turn it around. Drive that elbow straight down into your hip. Typically, this is something that you can regular press, regular military press. 10 or 12 times pretty easily is what you want to start with. And if that feels too heavy or feels too unstable, then you can move down a little bit more. What's cool about this is you can use a super light kettlebell and get a ton of work done. A lot of people I have with shoulder issues won't be able to do a regular press without pain, but sometimes they can do the bottoms up in a shorter range of motion. Sometimes they can do the full range of motion without any pain because it engages the lats so much more. You have to engage your lats, you have to engage your abs in order to get that bottoms up press done. So it's a lighter weight, it forces you to use the correct path, the correct movement, the correct muscles. So take the weight back, try the bottoms up instead of the regular press on 